Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with your daily update on Bitcoin. The timer has started and I have left here all the mess in the monthly chart but I'm going to hide it now. Before I begin though, this is only paper trading advice, never put your real money where I'm saying money may go, I may be wrong. Also, if you've never trade, if you are interested in trading risk-free, you may want to start doing paper trading actually with TradingView, which you can do for free. And as I said, risk-free. And there is a video right now in the top right corner that shows you exactly how to start up doing that. I will show you how to use all the indicators, how to set it up, how to start placing and um, modifying orders. And I will show you how to use my candle scanner, which you can get for free again if you uh, join the Promising Traders Tribe. You just need to go on promisingtrader.com slash join the tribe and I will give you, I will send you my script that helps you finding reversal patterns. So you may start practicing and do a constant profit over time, which if you are able to grow, then it will become your income. Anyway, um, Bitcoin monthly view. We have a very, very small dodgy red, but it's really almost no action since the 1st of November. But we have a new candle in the weekly chart. So last week closed in red, it's a spinning top, small spinning top with a slightly bare indication. We still have the previous week with a bare engulfing candle, which to me represents the famous B wave. So we will, uh, not that high, sorry, we will have um, a rally that will end in this area probably, at least the closing price will be in this area. And then Bitcoin will continue dropping. But, you know, let's check, let, let's check because I'm not, I'm not a master of the Elliott wave theory and I don't know if there is actually one, but <laughs> anyway, uh, if we check the weekly, actually, MACD is about, it's, I mean, it's trending up mm, not very regularly, not very, I mean, smoothly, I would say, but it is trending up, and RSI is definitely not on a bare value. You see, it's above 50. Also, another thing that makes me think it's going to happen is that Bitcoin has, for the first time, broken and remained above this downtrend channel. So this yellow line is where I foresee its, uh, its value to go before it drops again. So it's, it's probably this. To me, this one is a pennant, and then we will have another rally, possibly in this area here. And then, yeah, I think it will keep dropping, but let me move it slightly ahead, because it's probably not going, or maybe yes, maybe it's going to happen this week, who knows. Um, we need to see because if we check the daily it's not really about to spike again to be honest if we check here uh, but it's definitely not on a bearish side of things so it is slightly below 60 so now right now it's 56.44 on a daily on RSI but it's still above 50 it can still go higher it can go overbought once again and this would be it. And obviously, if it happens, we will retest this shooting star in the monthly view. Let's check if we can spot something in a shorter time frame. Well, in the six hours, we can see definitely that it's about to happen. Six hours crossover is about to happen. I mean, the crossover of the 233 EMA by the 55 EMA we can see it better in here, this green line is really, there's almost, it's almost impossible that it won't happen. I mean, if it keeps being even here in this range, it will happen maybe in the next 12 hours or so, or today probably. So this one is about to happen. While, however, if we check RSI, it is trending down. MACD, it is trending down. It's not completely sure if it's going to keep trending down because there was an attempt here for a crossover, but then it failed and now it's trending down again. But it's not really trending down heavily. You know what I mean? It's um, it's a slight downtrend. It 
doesn't and it's also above the histogram which is which means is uh, above above zero which is here you see so I mean it could it could reverse actually and that's confirming what I'm thinking that it's going to happen if we check in the three hours in fact we have kind of a flattening of RSI here you see even the price though is flat so that doesn't mean much it's not bullish in here but what you can see is that the, the, the trend is bullish because we have the price above the 233 EMA since the crossover that occurred after this huge rally last two weeks ago now um, and now we are just flirting with the 55 EMA and uh, yeah it may drop, it may touch the 233 EMA again which is what I, I said uh, yesterday I think so if we check maybe on the weekly which is better check on the weekly we have now this range where it's trading so every price between uh, 10,500 and 7,000 which I don't think is going to be touched again I would say 9,000 probably here it's good every try every price between 10,500 and 9,000 is good I mean it's still it's still within range and um, it's not really clear right now it's not trending at all so uh, let's check in the hour what we can find out and in the hour we can see that RSI is already trending up it's still on a bearish side but it's slowly trending up and here we have in the hour a hammer which is not completely confirmed because well actually it is sorry um, these ones they are not supposed to be handy mess, but because we need to keep triggering the candle scanner to enhance the sensitivity so if I increase the trend sensitivity these become hammers and I, I show you this in the video that you can watch I just mentioned at the beginning of, the, of this video so yeah now this is actually a strong support it's been tested here but it's been immediately bought back you see so the price didn't drop below any of these didn't close below any of these hammers even this one which is the extremist it didn't and this one is the the highest so we are definitely about to confirm in my opinion we are confirming that this is a solid support for the hour right now in this moment and um, so yeah in my opinion maybe this is the bottom which I said is now 9,000 9,100 but yes 9,000 in the area of 9,000 we found support there was more than a test here it's been brought immediately back up here we had an inverted hammer with confirmation and the, the, the price is slowly going up so in my opinion soon we will have an attempt to break in the 55 EMA in the hour the breakout of the 55 EMA and possibly something similar to this once again but as I said do not think this is a bull market globally it's about to drop more and so yep uh, this in my opinion will also mean that we will see the other pairs dropping like uh, Bitcoin, Digibyte Bitcoin, Bitcoin Doge, BitShare, all the pairs will have to uh, drop as soon as the rally occurs and then probably then it will be the moment where you want to short Bitcoin or move your Bitcoin into the other cryptocurrencies so that you can make more Bitcoins. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you tomorrow with another update. I wish you a great week and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that you will help me grow in the channel. Thank you. I have also left a Bitcoin wallet in case you want to leave a donation to the channel. Um, and I thank you in advance for that. Have a great day. Bye-bye.